So let us start to understand what is the meaning of LMTD. So LMTD is nothing but it is the log mean temperature difference and we will derive the equation for the same also. So first we will try to understand what is the meaning of this LMTD. So it is the temperature difference maintained along the length of the heat exchanger which will give the same rate of heat transfer as in the actual case. So what is the exact meaning of this particular thing is that if you are having on x axis the length of the heat exchanger. So here the boundary conditions are at x is equal to 0 and here x is equal to L. And suppose this is the flow of the hot fluid and here there is a flow of the cold fluid and both are moving in the same direction then it is known as the parallel flow heat exchanger. So the temperature difference is constant that is theta m and this constant temperature difference theta m is known as the log mean temperature difference. If it is maintained throughout this particular length of the heat exchanger then it will give you the same heat transfer rate as in case of the actual case. Now let us try to understand what happens exactly in case of the actual heat exchanger. So on the x axis we are having the length on y axis we are having the temperature difference or temperature and there is a flow of hot fluid as well as cold fluid moving in the same direction. So the hot fluid enters at temperature THI that is the temperature of the hot fluid at inlet and it flows in this particular direction and at the exit the temperature of the hot fluid is THE. Similarly the cold fluid enter in the same direction the inlet temperature is TCI and at exit the temperature is TCE. Now let us consider the elementary area over here having the width of dx or length of dx. Then at the entry of this elementary area the temperature of the hot fluid is TH and temperature of cold fluid is TC and as it as the fluid passes the hot fluid will transfer the heat to the cold fluid so its temperature will decrease by a small amount that is DTH and the cold fluid the temperature will increase as shown over here and its temperature is increased by an amount DTC. Now at the start of this particular length of this heat exchanger that is at x is equal to 0 the temperature difference is THI minus TCI and that is known as theta 1. Now this is the boundary condition these are the boundary conditions which we will be using for deriving the expression for log mean temperature difference. So we can say that our first boundary condition is at x is equal to 0 the temperature difference at the entry or at the start of this heat exchanger or length of the heat exchanger is theta 1 is equal to THI minus TCI and as the flow progresses at the end what we are having the temperature difference theta 2 is equal to THE minus TCE. So these two boundary conditions we will be using for deriving the equation. Now for steady condition we know that the rate of heat transfer between the fluid and wall must be equal to the rate of change of internal energy of the fluid. So for hot fluid the heat transfer rate is given by u into ta into theta where u is the overall heat transfer coefficient, ta is the elementary area that we have just now considered and theta is the temperature difference and it will be equal to the rate of change of internal energy of the hot fluid that is mcp delta t of the hot fluid or dt of the hot fluid. Now here we have considered the negative sign because the energy is given by the hot fluid to the cold fluid. So as it is losing the heat the negative sign is used over here. So we can say that dth will be equal to minus u ta theta divided by mcp of hot fluid. Now for cold fluid Again, we can say that u dA into theta is equal to mcp of cold fluid into change in temperature of the cold fluid. So we can say that this dTc is equal to u dA into theta divided by mcp of cold fluid. This product of m into cp is known as the heat capacity of the fluids. So mcp of hot fluid and mcp of the cold fluid are the heat capacities of hot and cold fluid respectively. Now we know that at the beginning of the elementary area we have just seen that the temperature difference is TH minus TC. So differential take the derivatives so it is D theta is equal to DTH minus DTC. 
now substitute all these values so value of dth is this particular value so that we can this value we have substituted over here and value of change in temperature small change in temperature of the cold fluid is this particular value that also we have substituted over here now taking this minus u da into theta common so it is 1 upon mcp of hot fluid plus 1 upon mcp of the cold fluid now transfer this theta on this side so variables will get separated so d theta upon theta is equal to minus u into da and this term will be same now this da is the elementary area and that is nothing but the length into width so suppose the width of the elementary area is b and its small length dx that we have already studied that we have already seen in our previous slide so we can substitute the value of da is equal to b dx over here so b is a constant dx is the variable so now we can use those boundary conditions which we have seen earlier so theta 1 and theta 2 are the boundary conditions so at x is equal to 0 temperature difference is theta 1 and at x is equal to l the temperature difference is theta 2 so those conditions we can use over here so let us substitute the boundary conditions over here so at x is equal to 0 temperature difference is theta 1 and at x is equal to l the temperature difference is theta 2 and rest of the terms are as it is so b into dx so that b term is a constant that we have taken club together over here with this overall heat transfer coefficient now we know that integration of 1 upon theta is log theta and the limits are from theta 1 to theta 2 this term as it is integration of dx is x and the limits are from 0 to l now substitute the upper limit upper limit in place of theta it is theta 2 so it is log theta 2 minus log of theta 1 lower limit is theta 1 this terms as it is in place of x substitute the upper limit that is l minus the lower limit that is 0 so we know that log m minus log n is log of m upon n minus u as it is this is b into l so that term we have taken over here and this bracketed term as it is now this b into l is nothing but the total area of the heat exchanger so in place of this b n we have substituted a now this negative sign is used to change the ratio over here so it is log of theta 2 upon theta 1 now it has become log of theta 1 upon theta 2 now we know that the net heat transfer rate is equal to the rate of change of internal energy so we can say that the heat transfer rate q is equal to mcp delta t of hot fluid and that is also equal to mcp delta t of the cold fluid now in case of the hot fluid the temperature of the hot fluid at inlet will be larger or more as compared to the heat the temperature of the hot fluid at the exit so temperature difference over here will be thi minus the whereas in case of the cold fluid the exit temperature will be larger as compared to the inlet temperature so here the temperature difference is tce minus tci so from this we can say that 1 upon mcph will be equal to thi minus the divided by q similarly 1 upon mcp of cold fluid can be written as tce minus tci divided by q so these values we can substitute in our earlier equation so our previous equation was log of theta 1 upon theta 2 is equal to u into a and now we are substituting the values of 1 upon mcp of hot fluid that is this particular value and 1 upon mcp of cold fluid that is this particular value so q is the lcm so we can take that term outside so 1 upon q we have taken outside so inside the bracket again we are having this temperature difference of the hot fluid plus temperature difference of the cold fluid now we will combine together certain terms so we will combine this thi minus tci as this particular term over here then take minus sign common and then combine this the and tce term so this particular term now if you remember this is nothing but our value of theta 1 and this is the value of theta 2 so we can say that log of theta 1 upon theta 2 is equal to ua upon q theta 1 minus theta 2 so this q can be written as u a theta 1 minus theta 2 and divided by this log term so log of theta 1 upon theta 2 so this 
So this particular term that is theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by log of theta 1 upon theta 2 that term is known as the log mean temperature difference that is theta m. So LMTD is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by log of theta 1 upon theta 2. So it is the temperature difference which will be maintained across the length of the heat exchanger so that we will get the same rate of the heat transfer as in case of the actual case.